the Las Vegas Aces have done it. They are your 2022 WNBA champs. We're here with the team in Connecticut. Our cameras were in the locker room for the celebration. We caught up with a handful of players, so stick around because we're going to bring you all the one-on-ones, the exclusive content you are looking for. You are not going to want to miss this. I was pretty much speechless. I was on the edge of my seat. I was jumping up and down. I was crying. I was just doing the most. The hometown, obviously, planning a huge party for the Las Vegas Aces, a party this city has never seen before. I'm Brian Salmon here inside of Allegiant Stadium where the Raiders had their home debut. Coming up, I will have your highlights and post-game reaction for what was a thriller for the Silver and Black. News 3 starts right now. With that moment, with that win today, we'll go down in Las Vegas history. The Aces claim the city's first major league championship title. News 3 has your team coverage. Jesse Merrick with the team in Connecticut. Katie Munch with fans here at home. Sports director Brian Salmon kicks off our coverage. Well, thank you, Marie. Yes, it was a huge day for sports here in the sports and entertainment capital of the world. Myself here at Allegiant Stadium and Jesse Merrick in Connecticut, of course, following the Aces in game number four. You know we're not starting here in Las Vegas. I got to get it out to Jesse to see what's going on with our Las Vegas Aces as they tick on the sun in game four. Jesse, what you got? Hey, you see the celebration there. It's worth a thousand words, but the only one that matters is champs. Your Las Vegas Aces had the winning hand, and they are the 2022 WNBA champions. Before we hear from the team, though, let's take a look at the highlights and see just how they did it. And it wasn't easy. Connecticut made them work for it. Entering tonight's contest, 4-0 in elimination games in this year's playoffs. We'll start at the top. Aces down two, but KP gets it going with a triple to give them their first lead of the game. Raquana kept the three ball going with a silky smooth stroke from center court, and the Aces go up 10. The Sun got it going, though, so with about a minute and a half to go in the half, Bonner hit him with the left hand, kisses it off the glass, and we are tied at 25. But Raquana wasn't feeling that. Hit another triple on the other end on the very next possession to silence the crowd. Now up two in the second half. Chelsea Gray doing Chelsea Gray things. Goes with the turnaround, Jay, her bread and butter, and it is 37-33 aces. Then John Quill Jones started heating up in the third quarter after giving the Sun the lead with a lay-in. She shows off the range, ripping off a three ball on the next possession to make it 42-39 Sun. Now up 60-59 for the aces there with about six minutes to go. Kelsey Plum drains a big three from straightaway center to extend the lead to four. Then with just under two to play, Bay Buckets back at it again. 73-71 aces, but she was not done there with 53 seconds to go, busting out the step back. That put the Aces up two big time there. Then Plum hit a pull up in the paint with 25 to play. And the Aces close it out, bringing Vegas their first major professional sports title. You're now a WNBA champion. How does it feel to hear that? Man, it's amazing. Uh, these are things that you dream about. These are things that you... I can't even put into words. Like this feeling, I want everybody to feel this happy. Like it's amazing. Listen, I haven't had alcohol <laughs> in what, like six months? No. And it feels like... I no other feeling I've ever felt before. So proud of this team. We've been working so hard. This wasn't just this year. This was years building up, you know? We've fallen short. We weren't going to fall short today. They're never short on a good time, that's for sure. Um, we work really hard. Uh, work hard, play hard, um, and have fun while you're doing it. It's a journey, and um, it's been a pleasure for me to be on it with them. Um, I, it's so awesome to be their coach. and. Um, they're just tremendous people, tremendous players, and it's just the beginning. We're just, we're just getting started, so we want to continue to build on this. Enjoy it. Um, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for my drink to come around these girls. <laughs> we know that this team was built to win championships. This is not the first, or excuse me, this is not the last. I'm sorry. Uh, this is not the last, but um, yeah, we, we, we were going to come to win. We are going to come to We weren't going game five. Talk about shooters and dogs. Bay came out, hit them big late. What can you say about her performance tonight? Um, when we, we both decided to, you know, come into free agency and be like, all right, let's come together. I was like, Bay, come with me. We're, we're going to win one day. We're going to win. And so super proud of that moment that she was able to do that with her. You guys are going back to Vegas for a bit of a party. Yeah. What do you expect that to be like? Man, it's about to be crazy. So everybody in Vegas, get ready. I don't want to call out nobody else because I already called y'all out before, but I will. Congressman, governor, mayor, usher, everybody. Fighters, USC, I don't care. Come out. We about to go crazy. The city's about to be upside down. Asia's been calling everybody out. Man, Man who are you calling out? How's it going to be? E-40 going to be there. 
front of Bay, I'm there. Hey, no doubt about it, that party is going to be wild. Going down on the strip on Tuesday at 5.30, so make sure you bring your dancing shoes with that, guys. we got to run because we got to get back and not get left out here in Connecticut. So let's get it back to you. All right, Jesse, let's go ahead and come on into Allegiant Stadium. It's a home opener for the Raiders. Of course, the home opener for head coach Josh McDaniels and the home opener for Devontae Adams making his Death Star debut in the Silver and Black. And DA, 1-7, he made his presence felt very quickly in this game. First drive, Carl would find 0-1-7 for their second connection of a touchdown this season. First inside the Death Star, 7-0, the Raiders run up and rolling. 10 to 0 now the Raiders when Carr would utilize one of his biggest and best weapons and I mean biggest literally Darren Waller great placement on the throw nice catch as well the Raiders go up 17 to 0 would eventually go up 20 to 0 at the half game is over no it's not second half was all about the Cardinals outscoring the Raiders 23 to 3 in regulation and it was all really Kyler Murray just making play after play after play the touchdown to get the game to within two points a ridiculous three yarder. Then it's Murray again to AJ Green on the two point conversion, tying the game at 23 and sending everything into overtime. Ugh. After the Raiders stopped the Cardinals on their opening drive, the Silver and Black were driving. Looked like they're getting in position for a Daniel Carlson game winning field goal when Hunter Renfro is drilled. He would fumble. Byron Murphy. Johnny on the spot scoops and runs it back 59 yards, and the Cardinals come all the way back. Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. 29 to 23, they get the dub over the Raiders. A very disappointing loss for Josh McDaniels and crew. At the end of the day, I think you have to learn how to handle, you know, success, you know, like we had in the first half um, and and or failure if that's you on the other end of the spectrum, you know, if you're behind. So, um, you know, we certainly and that starts with me. So. I got to do a better job of getting our team able to handle, you know, a lead just as much as we were able to try to fight back last week from a deficit. I feel like we controlled the, the game uh, in the first half. Um, I feel like we came out and just didn't have the same intensity. So, yeah, we got to work on finishing. So, yeah, Jesse, heartbreak here inside of Allegiant Stadium. So I guess I'll get it back to you, where it's all smiles for everyone in silver and black or red and black or anyone associated with Mark Davis and the Raiders and the Aces. It's all yours. All right, Brian, thank you. So earlier we heard from the pros, the Las Vegas Aces. Let's hear from the fans now. The Aces celebration party, as you heard, is already underway. Katie Much continues team coverage here in studio with the fans who followed the road to victory from day one. Yeah, and this is just one of the many marquees along the strip showing tribute to the Las Vegas Aces. The congratulatory messages have been pouring in since the team won the championship title. Honor's gonna spend a timeout. It was a seven point lead that helped the Las Vegas Aces claim its 2022 WNBA championship win. Las Vegas Aces fans like Brittany Anderson are overjoyed. I was on the edge of my seat. I was jumping up and down. I was crying. I was just doing the most. We talked to Anderson after the Aces lost to the Connecticut Sun in game three of the finals. While the loss stung, she predicted the team would bounce back. I had a good feeling, you know, the coaching staff is great, you know, so I just had a, a feeling and then the ladies worked really, really hard, you know, and then last season it was so close. Yeah. So I knew this season and the season next after that, it's going to be ours. It's a win so historic that Allegiant Stadium aired some of the final moments as the Raiders took on the Cardinals. And on social media, the congratulatory messages poured in. Mayor Carolyn Goodman wrote, what a team, what a talent, what a victory. You have made Las Vegas so proud. Senator Cortez Masto wrote congratulations to the Las Vegas Aces for capturing their first WNBA championship in team history. Her president Barack Obama added, it's been fun to watch coach Becky Hammond and this team play this season. I think it's important for not only the community, but for all the little girls and boys to see the first championship come to Vegas. And I'm looking forward to that. As a teacher, I see these kids and they need to see all the excitement as well. And Marie, several Aces fans have already shared with me that they plan on calling in to work sick so that they can go to the parade 
and celebrate with the Aces, cheering them on some more. We call it a sick day, maybe just a health and happiness day. How about yeah. that? We need to make it a holiday. There you right. go. All right. Yeah. I, I love that idea. Let's okay. work on it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, truly, the Aces will return home to a celebration the city has never seen before. In honor of the first major professional sports championship here in Las Vegas, there will be a parade. It'll begin at Caesars Palace, and it'll end with a rally in front of the Bellagio Fountains. Look for members of the team to address the fans and in true Vegas party fashion, there'll be a, uh, there'll be dancers and a DJ. We should also note that southbound lanes of Las Vegas Boulevard will be closed between Flamingo and Bellagio Drive from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. that day. Also look for road closures by Caesars Palace and Flamingo. They'll experience those rolling closures throughout the event. The celebration does continue on the roads. Look for Nevada State Police squad cars decked out with Aces logos with a championship trophy in grasp. We showed you earlier, uh, or last week rather, that the troopers were joining the parade. Here are, there's a look at their vehicles now, those Aces decals on the hood. Also, congratulations, by the way, all around from here at News 3 and local lawmakers and locals as well. Commissioner Michael Naft, whose jurisdiction includes the home of the Las Vegas Aces, said this dream come true cements our reputation as the greatest arena on earth. Governor Sisolak, who was there for game one of the finals, writes, Nevada is the sports and entertainment capital of the world. Thank you, Aces, for bringing home this win for our community. I never had a doubt. And the governor of Connecticut making good on a game bet, writing, He'll be sending Sisolak one of New Haven's finest pizzas and also wearing Ace's gear. I have a feeling a lot of people here in Las Vegas will be joining him as well.